This is Don Brill. I'm the person behind Brill Engineering and the uh, pinch rollers. We've had uh, farmers contact us and what they need is a unit that can do higher volume than the pinch rollers. So what we did was we purchased a two-person rice hauler from India and it cost about $1,000 plus another twelve to fifteen hundred dollars to get it shipped into the United States. And then we took that one and modified it with a motor and it worked. But in the meantime, we've decided, let's see what we can do if people wanted to build their own. So we've come up with this scheme, which is based off a research paper and uh, the hauler we were purchased from India. So in this video, you'll see it hauling rice, millet, buckwheat with uh, how those results went. Right now we just want to see, show you it in operation. We have an impeller here. Inside here is a ring, a polyurethane that the rice will hit. This is a feed hopper that we've used in the past because you've got to control your feed rate. We have a quarter horsepower motor running out uh, 1,725 RPM. The impeller down there runs at twice that, but uh, because of lossage, it's running at about 3,200 RPM. I've got a pulley here and a pulley here to do the feed. I have four pounds of rice, and what I want is this four pounds of rice to take one minute, that'll be 240 pounds an hour. So let me get it started. Throw the rice in. So that's four pounds of rice. Start up our system. So we just did four pounds in one minute, 22 seconds. And I can do the uh, calculations on that to figure out what that rate was. But the motor, it could have gone a little faster. I didn't, I didn't hear the RPM dropping. Later in the video, we'll show the uh, percent we're getting. We ran long and short grain rice. We ran millet, we ran buckwheat, canary seed. We did not do uh, oats, because oats you have to basically cook a little bit beforehand to dry them out and make them a little more brittle. So now we'll show the parts. 
Here are the six grains that we just processed through the impact holder. I poured them through uh, by hand so we don't really know the rate. Here's the millet. Now I had to add five grains of millet that did that did not go through the holer just so you can see the difference. Those right there are ones I added to the top of the pile. And as you can see there might be one there. So we're at 99 plus percent for the millet. It processed the best. This is canary seed. The dark have lost their hulls. The light colored still have their hulls on them. Don't know what percent that is. Over 50 though. This is buckwheat. The dark brown still has the husks on it. The light tan is the whole grain with the husk removed and the white are the ones that have shattered. This is probably why you only see buckwheat meal. Next we have the yellow field peas. They're hard. The Dark yellow is the peas that have been husked. Probably 50%. This is our short grain rice. We grew it here in Delaware. Into the 90 percentile. And then this is the long grain rice that we also grew here in Delaware. So this impact hauler does a pretty good job of uh, removing the husk from the rice and the millet and not so good on the uh, other three grains. This is our short grain rice. We're up to uh, speed. Here we have some buckwheat, about a half a cup. We'll get the motor running. So again, this is buckwheat. I'll just pour this in. Here we have some uh, dried yellow peas. I'll just pour these in. I don't have many. It's just hitting our. Uh... Here we have. Here we have dried yellow peas. have much millet so this is about a quarter cup of that we're going to run it through we're going to get it up to its uh, operating RPM which is um, 
We're going to do uh, some canary seeds. So these are canary seeds. I'm going to pull them directly in once it gets up to our can. So we just ran four pounds of rice in this homemade impact hauler. This was the motor we used. The controller is this. This is showing the different pulleys we have. We have a 1700 RPM motor, so we're doubling that so we can try to get up to 3500. It did end up being uh, 3200. This is the feed hopper system. This is our gate. We've used that in the past. Turns out we did not do four pounds per minute. We did 2.8, which was 175 pounds an hour. This is my uh, funnel system. Let me just rip off this cardboard. So what I did here is take a funnel, cut it, attached it down to here. We'll open up this in a minute. Down there is where my shaft goes. Here's the shaft here. Over here. This is our uh, impeller is there. This little button right there is so that I can use my uh, optical system to figure out the uh, speed. It's a tachometer that reads that. This is just a deflector. This black down here. Now we're going to uh, take it apart. I've now removed this outer cover. This is our impeller, that blue. It's eight and a half inches in diameter. It has three blades on it. We believe they use three instead of four because they're going to do sunflower seeds. We're, but we're not sure. This comes off of the uh, Thomas International Two Man Hauler. The polyurethane, the 90 diameter hardness, is epoxied to the uh, 11 inch diameter hole that we cut out of plywood. So it's two pieces of three quarter inch plywood that have been screwed together. And the polyurethane came from uh, McMaster Car. Let me show you the other side. So this is our shaft. There used to be the funnel there. Down in here, this is just a little piece of PVC that I've attached. Now I've loosened the uh, bearings and the pulley, and I should be able to pull this out. So we'll just pull it out. Sorry. So this was our PVC pipe, it's attached there, it sticks in a little bit, and then that part that sticks in feeds inside of here. So I don't know if you can see them, now you can see those blades in there, they've cut 
grooves into it and then hardened it. We believe that separates out the um, rice and aligns it. So that's how simple this is. You have an impeller, you rotate it at around 3500 RPM, you have the impact ring made out of the polyurethane, in this case it was an eighth of an inch thick. Let me zoom in on that so you all can see it. We don't know how long this will last, but the uh, one that Thomas International sells, it, it's, it appears it'll do thousands of pounds. So imagine you put this on, do this diameter, then if this wears, you epoxy on another layer here. Do need to do next would be to develop a cyclone separator between the rice or the grain that you want to keep and the husk. So we could have it come off the side here and go out. If you have questions or you would like to help on the project, go to uh, our webpage, billengineering.com. Thank you.